Alrighty, we are back with Dwarf Fortress, and Laura Bam has begun the mysterious construction. A little child building a thing. Got some nice blocks, really nice blocks. Cushion granite cash bonds, regular granite cash bonds, naked mole dog leather, bayberry wood logs, rose gold bars, and black bronze bars. He's going to make some stupid little trinket using rose gold. And the brewer's throwing a tantrum again. We had a bunch of migrants come, so the population increased by about 15, from 131 to 146. And people are still throwing tantrums and still causing mayhem and destroying things. But the Great Pit is still being dug, mostly because at the moment the miners cannot leave the pit. Because <laughs> the stairs don't extend all the way down. So let's fix that a little bit. I believe there'll be enough people to start making the stoneware stairs that um, yeah, I should start to do things. But we'll be back when the artifact is done or when something else happens. Jump cut. Alrighty, we're back. So, Lorbam Volkmars, uh, Miss. Dwarven Child has created M.M. Thulspot, a Bayberry Wood Gencast, uh, Gecast, G-Cast, Gecast, whatever. She claims it is an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor, Dumas Syrup Whim. So yes, let's, let's take a closer look at this. Whoops. So, oh, view, description, ooh, value, 54,000, not bad. All craft worship is the highest quality, is encircled with oval, nice kasha bonds, and encircled bands of rose gold, cushion granite kasha bonds. This object is adorned with hanging rings of black bronze, and menaces with spikes of bayberry wood and granite. On the item is an image of Earl Guildhoof, the dwarf, and dwarves and naked old dog leather. For some reason it's like my throat strand doesn't want me to let me talk. Earl Guildhoof is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of dwarf Earl Guildhoof to the position of king in the skinny volcano in one. On the item is an image of Olan Tinnelman, the dwarf in llama leather. Olan Tinnelman is cringing. The artwork relates to the encasement of dwarf Olan in ice in the Hill of Persuasion midwinter of 162. The Gencast is a tiny handheld metal stringed instrument with a bone body. The instrument rests flat as a musician plucks the four strings. Tuning is possible with the adjustable bridges. The instrument has a three and a half octave range going from middle to very high pitch. The instrument has brittle wavering timbre or timber. So yeah, that's actually not just some stupid little amulet. That's actually kind of useful. Good. Isn't that right, little kitty? Good. Is Willow sitting on my desk? <sighs> Have we extracted our miners from the pit yet? Boy, this goes down far, doesn't it? Yes, we have extracted them out of the pit. We must continue digging the pit. But the miners can go off and they can get some drinks. and so forth so they don't like starve because that would be bad you know, drinking storing on items picking up equipment so on and so forth so yeah things are developing doo, 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 doo. and i suppose this moment is as good a time as any for some uh, channel news this week my uh content network dumped me so now I am no longer associated with any content network on YouTube, which is nice. All, I got my AdSense account up and running, and so all the advertising revenue goes straight to me now. But it also means I don't have the protection of a network, so hopefully it doesn't go too badly. But it means that this channel could also keel over dead at any moment, in case, 
just because someone felt like making three claims on my channel. I probably shouldn't have said that, but, uh, oh well. So yeah, as you can tell, more workshops are being destroyed, more farms are being destroyed, destroyed farms are not being rebuilt, even though they are placed. Which is not uh, handy, by any means. So yeah, rages continue. We still have all the uh, traders on site. They're just standing there waiting for them to leave. So yeah, things are happening. Boop. Poked the kitty. Things are happening. We'll jump cut and see if we can get to that um, arbitrary 10 minutes that YouTube apparently wants, or otherwise your videos don't show up in the feed correctly. Maybe something will happen. We'll be right back. And we are back, because here's that interesting thing I needed to happen. Oh. <laughs> I wish it wasn't this, because the levers broke, and we no longer have melee squads. Hey, oh my god, we have five guys. Well, I hope someone can do something. Y'all run there. They're all recruits, aren't they? They're all recruits. <laughs> They're all recruits. <sighs> Is this guy immediately moving? Oh my god, he's immediately moving, too. So, we barely have any army. We have a couple crossbow dwarves, but they're all recruits. And I think they're all going to be murdered. And this guy, unlike what Forgotten Beasts generally do, which is sit on the edge of the map and wait, this guy is running straight in. Which sucks. Yeah, none of them are going to get there in time. Ooh. I'd say this is the end, but the odds are some random freaking doctor or some other dude with an axe is just going to walk by this thing on the stairs and decapitate it like it did the for previous Forgotten Beast that murdered everything. So, yay. Oh, there's one guy. One guy. Will he get out of the way? Okay, so for the moment, that guy gets to live. <laughs> Will the clother, the loom guy, get out of the hallway before the Forgotten Beast shows up? He has. Oh no, there's another one coming. Ooh, what's going to happen? Boof. He isn't running. Oh, now he's running scared. And that one guy, who has showed up, has absolutely nothing. He has a steel bow with a quiver that has bolts. <sighs> He's a fucking idiot. Uh... So here comes a Forgotten Beast. The only guy who was in position has the wrong weapon. Now this guy's really going. He's going up the stairs. Up, oh, he's found that guy, and that guy's dead. Oh! Let's see your impact. You don't count as nearby. You're moving so fast, you don't count as nearby. Follow. Down he goes, accelerating, and... 
Oh, he's probably regretting that we have a deep pit. Oof. Weaver? There he is. Weaver slam in, slams into an obstacle and bursts apart. Where are the miners? That will be a very good question. I don't know where they are. Okay, so it sucks for that guy. He's still running up. He is now in the fortress proper. And he's just rampaging through everyone he runs into. Because everything's broke. Thanks to people destroying things. The planter is putting up the most resistance. Oh my god, is he going to be beaten up by a freaking planter? Nope. Oh my god, he's been beaten up by a bunch of unarmed civilians. The miner! With a steel pick! Called it. Some random dude. Solve the problem. Does this guy down here even have a body left? No. <laughs> oh no, there's his body. There's not going to be much of it left. <sighs> there we go. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. The dwarves have broken everything, so they can't protect themselves anymore. If I put anyone in the army, they just go berserk and start murdering everybody. And the, what little army we do have, have the wrong ammunition for the wrong weapon at the wrong time. No, well, no, at the right time, but they just had everything wrong, so. Yay! Look, they still haven't fixed that stuff. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back next time with Dwarf Fortress. And why is there a dead dude in the, tra <laughs> in the trade depot? There's a dead dude in the trade depot. Uh, see ya. Thank you all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to hit that stupid little bell thing that YouTube has added, because... Otherwise, you won't get notifications of any new videos if you su subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitter, at GenJeft, as I always have my video updates on there, so you will never miss a video if you're on my Twitter feed, because they'll all be posted, and any other dumbass comment I make as well. So, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.